What made me want to write music for film was that I got a chance to write in any kind of style, type, and genre. I produced rap albums, I wrote music for comedies, TV shows, dramas, sport films. But this is my first superhero film and it takes place in Africa. And it's the first time I really worked with traditional African music. And during this experience, I really became a better musician myself and became a better composer just through doing this project. <laughs> It was a long process of creating the score. I've been working with the director, Ryan Coogler, for about 10 years now. And when I read the script he wrote for Black Panther, I was immediately blown away. And I'm, I'm like, the only way I can write music that fits these colors and images and stories I'm reading is to go to Africa and to do research. One of the first things that I did was to figure out where to go. You know, it's a big continent and there's so much different music in every country, in every different tribe. They all have their different instruments. They all have a different language. I called a lot of friends that's, that's been traveling around there and one of my friends produced um, an album with an African artist. His name is Baba Mal. I called him and I was like, hey, my name is Ludwig Goransson and I'm a film composer and I'm about to score a movie uh, called Black Panther. It's about a black superhero in a fictional country in Africa. Would you have any time for me to come out and meet you or record you or anything? And he was like, yeah, sure. Just I'm about to go on tour. You can, you, you can come join my tour. And after following me around for tour for a week, I was able to borrow his studio and record his favorite musicians. That was the start of the Black Panther score right there. When I was traveling around with uh, Baba Mal, he kind of opened up his solo shows with this just kind of like ceremonial uh, out call. Like every time I saw it, was, I got goosebumps. And, and I was like, how, what if we start the movie like that? What if we start the score like that? Baba Mal is from the Fulani tribe, and in this opening scene, you can hear him sing about an elephant that had just died. Elephant being the synonym for the king. Then it's time for someone to take over, but you shouldn't be too fast. One of the instruments that I was drawn to from the very beginning was uh, the instrument called the talking drum. It's a drum you put on your shoulder, and you squeeze it, and it had different pitches. So you can basically form words with the drum. The instrument is so loud. So I was just thinking like, what if you have six players playing the same thing? It starts off like this. You don't really hear it from the beginning and then, and then another player joins, another player joins, and then the dynamically it just grows and grows and then it goes into a huge ensemble. And then I had a solo on top of this. So you have the group and you have the solo on top of that. And then the last final element for the talking drum is T'Challa's name. T'Challa. To beef it up a little bit, put this 808 under the beat, which is basically doing the same rhythm as the talking drums. So just the 808 and the talking drums sounds like this. This is the basic beat for the cello's theme. So anytime it comes into the movie, so you either hear the talking drum rhythm, the, the ensemble rhythm, or you hear the solo rhythm saying his name. After I created this beat, me and Ryan wanted to see how it would sound like if we added some horns on this to make it more royal. You know, this is still a demo. More months down the line, when we get closer to record this with real players, they need to see it on a piece of paper. 
So I sent my MIDI file to my orchestrator. He or she writes it down on, on score paper. It'll come out like this. So when I'm up on the podium and conduct the orchestra and listen to this, what I just played you guys, this is what I'm looking at. movie forever. This is culturally something that's never been done before. When I went to Bob Mob's concert, as soon as he started singing, it was just like waking up from a coma or something. And I was really was trying to recreate that moment with this piece of music. Music is from Africa. And I could never have done this score without going there and spending time with the griots listening to their stories and their rhythms that they've been passing on from generation to generation. I just can't wait to go back because there's so much more to study and learn. <laughs> 